Hey folks, check this out. This video is one of the best healing videos. <laughs> it's really cool. I went to Staten Island yesterday to hook up with a brother in the Lord named Terrell who wanted to get started ministering healing on the streets and, you know, and anywhere in general. And so uh, I got together with him. I drove there and we spent like two and a half hours on the streets. We ministered, and so he ministered healing to a couple of people. I ministered healing to a couple of people. I got a really cool word of knowledge in one situation. And then we, we, we uh, towards the end, we get into this situation where I see these two guys walking down the sidewalk, and I say to him, I say to Terrell, it's like, man, I'm breaking out the camera for this one. Because we didn't get a lot of it on film. We just were talking without the camera. But, but this one, I said, I'm breaking out the camera for this one because this is right up my alley. <laughs> you know, so uh, it's really cool. And what's interesting is that this is the first day Terrell's doing this. So, like, I want to encourage you, if you want to uh, get activated, you know, not, not impartation. Because impartation can imply that I'm giving you something that you don't have yet. You know, I believe that if you have the Holy Spirit, you have the gift. You've got the power of God in you. And so, so it's really more of an activation where, like, I help you to believe in what's in you already. And so the best way to do that, I believe, is, is two by two out on the streets. You know, get, get one person at a time. You know, I've ministered in many churches, you know, so that, that obviously does work. It, it's very beneficial and productive. But the best way, I believe, is one person at a time out on the streets two by two, you know, in, uh, in just spreading the love and, and the grace. There's lots of grace out on the streets for people. So if you want to, if you want to minister, if you want to be activated, uh, you know, you can get a hold of me. And if you live in this area, perhaps, you, you know, we can get together one weekend, you know, for a couple of hours or, or when I'm in your area, the United States, whatever, we can get together. So, but check it out. This video is really cool. Ireland, aren't you, or something? We're England? I'm a minister. It's on record already. Uh, you just gotta keep us in the window. My name is Tom. This is my friend Terrell. We're ministers. We pray for people and they get healed instantly of pain and sickness. Which one of you guys has pain that won't go away? Where's the pain at? My spine. Your spine? Yeah. What, you, don't tell me. You're in a car accident? No. No? Okay, that was one way. But what had that happen? Um, lifting wood. Lifting wood. How yeah. long ago was that? Last summer, you've been hurt, your spine's been hurting for a year? Yeah. Okay, all right. I've been a healing minister for like five years now, all right? And uh, what, when I said don't tell me, I was trying to, I was, I was thinking maybe I was getting a word of knowledge of how it happened, but I was wrong. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. I'm out training Terrell here on ministering healing in the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm training him, this is the first day, he's already done it once. And he's gonna like, he's gonna like tap your back real lightly like that and tell the pain to go in the name of Jesus Christ, all right? Okay. Okay, so Terrell, go ahead and do that. Pain Wait, face to face this way so that you can see this. That's why I like to record it because it's incredible. Pain, go now in Jesus' name. Okay, now move around. Tell me how you feel. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. What? <laughs> what? Hold up. Nah. What? <laughs> nah. Nah. It's gone? Ain't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's crazy, ain't it? What'd you do? A year! <laughs> a year! <laughs> what? A whole year? Pain, look at that. I'm telling you, it's so real. It's like the power of Jesus Christ flowing through the person. It's like when you believe in Jesus, he comes to live in you. He believes in Jesus, and he's and I'm just training him. I'm just telling him, you can do this. The power's in you. Ain't that crazy? All right, okay, what? okay, okay, hang on, hang on. You just saved me a trip to You just saved me a trip to the doc. Okay. All right, I got a detached kneecap. Detached okay. Kneecap. All right, detached how long kneecap. have you had a detached kneecap? I've had a detached kneecap for about five years. Are you serious? About five years. Okay. So, all right, so, so tell the kneecap to be reattached. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments. You can just lay your hand on his knee and say, muscles, tendons, and ligaments be reattached in the name of Jesus Christ. And all inflammation go. Muscle, tendons, ligaments, and bone be reattached now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now move Amen. it around. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you feel now? <laughs> you, you felt something going on there, eh? Dude, what happened? What? Oh, come on. Are you serious? What? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. So, so you couldn't do that before? 
Ain't that, no, 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 ain't that, that crazy? Would that would hurt. That, that would, would hurt. hurt. I, leave, I wouldn't be able to get my leg that high. Dude, that's crazy. Wow. This guy's got, try it again, try this it guy's again. got faith, man. Try it again. Whoa! Are you so, oh my gosh! <laughs> dude! <laughs> dude! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, what? are you serious? That crazy. That's crazy! He loves you. He just healed you. And you, and you know he's not lying, right? Yeah. You know, what? He's my cousin. I've known he's had that forever. Dude, that's crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that's insane! That's insane! Okay, this is so important right now. This moment is so important right now. You guys need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right now because that sign was to get your attention. That's crazy. My back feels awesome. Wow, that is crazy. Hold that. That's hold that. I want to explain the gospel to okay. you guys right now, all right? Like that in years. About, listen, check this out. About 2,000 years ago, about 2,000 years ago, Jesus came to this earth, walking around Israel, preaching love and forgiveness. He told people to love people and forgive people. And he said, believe that I am who I say I am. I'm the savior of the world. I'm going to die for your sins, but I'm going to come out of the grave because I've never sinned. And so the grave will not be able to hold me. And he was walking around healing people as an example of the, to help people to believe in him. And so that's what he did. He took the penalty for your sins. So that when you believe in what Jesus did for you, God imputes righteousness to you. Do you guys understand that? Do you understand it? Explain that better. Okay, better. Jesus came to take the penalty for your sins. We're all sinners. We've all sinned against God. Okay. All right? And so he took the penalty for your sin. So that he, they crucified him, they buried him, but he, three days later he came out of the grave and was seen alive by over 500 people at the same time. That's the hope of the Christians, so that when you trust in what Jesus did for you, he did that for you because he loves you. Jesus loves you. He, he paid the penalty for your sins so that you can live forever in eternity. So when you trust in what he did for you, God imputes righteousness to you. He gives you it as a free gift. You understand that? Okay. You do understand that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the Bible says this is an incredible situation. <laughs> One of the most incredible situations I've been in in the five years as a minister, and I've seen thousands of people healed. All right? This fixed my back. That's crazy. I can't believe I just did a backflip. Like, he saved me so much money at the doctor. Yes, there you go. There's a practical reason right there. Save you a lot of money. So the Bible says if you will confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All right? So say this, say, Father in heaven, I believe you sent your son Jesus to die for my sins. I recognize I'm a sinner in need of a savior. I repent of going my own way in life. And I put my trust in Jesus because I believe he's alive. Because what just happened was real. What just happened was real. <laughs> and I thank you, Jesus. I thank, I thank you, Jesus. So I give you my life. So I give you my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Now, Lord, bless them. Holy Spirit, come upon them in power right now with more power, more peace, right now to show them how real that was and who you are. The Holy Spirit, right now, come upon them right now. Power and peace in Jesus' name. What are you guys feeling right now from that? I feel happy. I feel awesome. Did you when I was doing that, did you feel something hitting you? A little yeah. bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It was like right on the chest yeah. there. Yeah. Right <laughs> the Bible says that he makes you a new creation. He changes you, he gives you a new heart. It's like this is the most amazing day of your lives, I'm telling you. It's incredible. Yeah. It's like God will show you so much. In fact, I'm going to bless you guys. It's a perfect opportunity to bless you guys with a few bucks, too. To show you, <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you 20 bucks each, to show you what? how really? real Jesus is, that he loves you. So not only did he heal you in your body, but he also blessed you financially so that to, to help you believe without a doubt how real he is and that he loves you and that he has forgiven you of your sins. Ain't that crazy? That's I'll wild. Like, <laughs> like read the whole Bible. Right That's now. wild. <laughs> That's awesome. oh. It is, man. It's crazy. And it's like, it's like, you know what? You're when you speak of the Bible, open up the Bible to the Gospel of John and read the Gospel of John. All right. And and when you're done with the Gospel of John, read to the end of the Bible. 
right? The whole Bible is good, but start off by reading the Gospel of John, because the Gospel of John teaches you about Jesus. Because let me tell you something, it wasn't Terrell that just healed you guys. It was Jesus Amen. living in Terrell. Amen. We've got no power on our own. It's the, it's the God who is alive, who created everything, who sees everything you do, who loves you with an everlasting love and wants you to know that. He's the one that did it. Isn't that amazing? Because I may never see you guys again. I live no in creature has ever been this good. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Bro, I live in New Jersey. Terrell lives here in Staten Island. But I live in New Jersey. Do you live wow. where? I live in Linden. Linden, okay, that's about an hour north of me. I live in Jackson. Oh. That is crazy. And how does that feel? Still feels good, bro? Yeah. yeah. Feel that my it's amazing. <laughs> Walking here, I was like, man, my back's really good. And God me. heard and you. Now I just feel like... Wow. God heard you and sent us. Guys, that's incredible. I'm going to start doing martial arts again. Here we go. Dude, mm. dude say, say, Lord Jesus, I believe and I receive. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, I believe and I receive. receive. Yes. <laughs> Be careful with martial arts. All right? You know why? Let me tell you why. Um, some, I believe some martial arts is good, but uh, martial arts is rooted in Eastern religions with China. It can originate in China, and a lot of it... Uh, invokes spirit beings in order to give you power or an edge. That's why guys can like punch through bri bricks and stuff and layers of wood. It's like they only do that by the power of an unclean spirit. They invite spirits into them. And you, I know a guy who was in martial arts. It was a black belt. He still is, but he doesn't do it anymore. But he's a small guy, and he can put he can put himself in a position where like somebody bigger than him could not move. It's like you can't do that. I know that. I know that technique. Yeah. I've been doing martial arts since I was seven. I know that technique. Bro, yeah, you can't do that except by an evil spirit. God wants you to only have the Holy Spirit in you, the holiest of holy. See, see, those evil spirits never healed your knee, but the Holy Spirit just healed your knee. Those, I got my spirit, spirit now. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That's all I need yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah you right the now Holy I just spirit. feel amazing. So when you, I know it's incredible. So when you do martial arts, if you do it, pray, pray about it and ask God because you got a relationship with the Lord now. Ask, say, say when you're praying, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, reveal to me what you want me to do, and then and then and then be quiet and listen for His still small voice. I've never heard an audible voice, but I hear a voice in my spirit. Right. So do that. So like you, you talk to God like I'm talking to you and then be quiet and listen real carefully and quietly in your spirit to hear what he's saying in return to you. Alright? And he'll give you directions. So like if he doesn't want to do a martial arts, he'll say, son, it's not for you. But if it's okay, then do it, but always use the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't ever invoke an evil spirit that I'm help you with that. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you, bro. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Thank, oh, man. thank you, guys. Oh, this is amazing. the craziest day of my life. Wow, that is so amazing. And, yeah, and so, Terrell, Terrell, go, tell me a little bit now. I want to say that Jesus Christ is the bomb. Yes, he Jesus is. Christ yes. is the bomb. Yes, he's yes, the bomb. He is. He is. God bless you. <laughs> you guys. That is amazing. Guys. So Jesus. good to meet you guys. Oh. I am so glad that I got those backflips on yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> I hear so, a lot of clips on YouTube, but no, no backflips. Yes, no, it's back like... Flips. The, the, the re and the reason why the reason why I make videos is because of how amazing this can be. Yeah, I can't believe this just yeah. happened. Nobody's this gonna is, believe me when I'm like, yo. yeah, like, yo, look, I can kick you back. I can kick you back. Watch. Watch me kick. All right, I'm gonna kick you. Watch. Just, put your hand up. Just, oh my gosh. Please. No one's gonna believe me. Like, man, you can't kick that high anymore. You know, you can't kick that high. Man. Anymore. Like, <laughs> it's okay. it's the reason and, and man it's the reason why I make videos to capture this and so wait let me pray one more thing okay. and so now right now Lord I thank you for these men and I declare Satan that they are off limits Satan you're a liar you're defeated by Jesus Christ he kicked your butt Satan you are done and you demons are all a bunch of losers so you demons stay away from these guys completely you can't have them they belong to Jesus and angels stay with them always minister angels in fact, break out the fire right now, angels, on these guys. Oh, yeah. You feel it again? Yeah. <laughs> break out that fire, angels, and stay around them all the time so that they know that, that you, Lord, are God, and that they'll never doubt, and that they'll never invite demons ever. And that so angels do that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, guys. So, 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 God, I pray that you will use this... Uh, 
this meeting of ours, God, to give them confidence that you will give them too a healing ministry, that they will be able to touch those in their family and those in their lives and loved ones and friends, and that these people too will feel the love of Christ that these two gentlemen feel right now. God, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen.